Welcome back, everyone. This is my new Venom Let There Be Carnage post credit scene video for all the big reports you guys have been asking me about. There's been all this talk about a massive post credit scene because it was a recent screening, so I'll explain what's going on. In Tom Hardy himself has been posting a lot of Spider-Man related pictures. But recently, you probably saw there was a special fan screening of Venom Let There Be Carnage in the UK. Tom Hardy and the director Andy Serkis were there hyping the movie up. And it was after that screening last week that all these reports about the post credit scene started posting. Even Sony's official Twitter account posted about the post credit scene. One of the people that was at the special screening tweeted a bunch of hype about this huge end credit scene. And the Sony account used their tweet for its own marketing for a little bit before they deleted the tweet. Like, oh, if they're talking about the post credit scene, maybe we shouldn't be posting this to our official Sony account. The retweet that they deleted just read, Nah, in my whole life, I haven't seen the whole movie theater react as loud as they did to the Venom 2 end credit scene. Sony delivered. I don't know why Sony felt like that was spoilery. Maybe they just wouldn't want people focusing on the end credit scene. But also recently, Tom Hardy posted a picture to his Instagram, then quickly deleted it. He's done this a couple times. And in the picture, he was wearing one of the crew hats from Spider-Man No Way Home. Tom Hardy has done this in the past too, where he posts Spider-Man Venom pictures together and then quickly deletes them. But also recently around this fan screening, Tom Hardy and Andy Serkis confirmed that Venom and Spider-Man would be crossing over. I mean, we all knew that they would eventually because Kevin Feige was talking about it a couple of years ago. But this is them actually confirming that it's happening. So this is the clip of Tom Hardy talking about how they're handling the multiverse or Spider-Verse since we're talking about Spider-Man characters. There's a Venom verse, you know, that, you know, there's a there's a spider verse, there's multiverses. My early prediction is that they'll just call it Spider-Man and Venom Maximum Carnage. And they'll just do the rest of the Maximum Carnage storyline from the comics that they don't cover in Venom Let There Be Carnage. Because some of that movie is adapting aspects of the Maximum Carnage storyline, but only a little bit. Spider-Man was a huge part of the Maximum Carnage storyline. So it would be weird for them to do that whole storyline without any Spider-Man. It was basically a giant Venom and Spider-Man team-up story against Carnage, where they put their differences aside temporarily to get rid of Carnage. So it should come as no surprise after all this weird evidence that's been coming out recently that someone also posted a clip to Reddit claiming that it was the actual legit Venom Let There Be Carnage post credit scene. Now, I can't use the clip in my video here because if it's legit, Sony could copyright my video, so I don't want to take the risk. But because of the recent Andrew Garfield Spider-Man No Way Home deepfake scene, you kind of have to take things like this with a grain of salt. You may have seen recently there have been all these supposed pictures of Andrew Garfield reported to be on the set of Spider-Man No Way Home. And they look kind of weird, like, wow, this is like an actual scene, but people are claiming it's from Spider-Man No Way Home. Andrew Garfield was recently on late night television saying, no way, man, that's a deepfake. That's not me. And I did see it. And it's a Photoshop. We say no. Then just a little while ago, somebody came out and claimed to be the artist who made this as a deep fake, claiming, no, no, I made this myself. This isn't an actual scene. It is a deep fake. Andrew Garfield was not lying. This is not him because I created it whole cloth out of nothing. And it looks pretty legit. Like if you didn't know how deep fakes work, you might think this was a real scene. So that's why anytime there's a big leak like this, you have to take it with a grain of salt. But just based on a lot of people who went to see the Venom Let There Be Carnage early screening in the UK and this audio clip that leaked out, based on these reports in the Venom Let There Be Carnage scene, Eddie Brock and Venom supposedly defeat Carnage but don't kill him and then recovering from the fight, they go to a hotel room to chill out but wind up stepping through a teleportation circle. Now, nobody has said whether or not it's one of Doctor Strange's teleportation circles. They just say he's teleports. Usually you don't get specifics like this because the people that go see the screenings are just casual fans. So they don't give you the really big details like this. But based on the reports, when they step through the portal, their hotel room looks exactly the same. Except when they turn the TV on that's in the room, Tom Holland's Spider-Man is on TV. And the clip of him that's playing is the Mysterio scene from Spider-Man Far From Home post credit scene with Mysterio doxing him. And apparently the Venom symbiote is supposed to look at Tom Holland's Spider-Man on TV and say, hmm, tasty, like he wants to eat Spider-Man as a snack. And then Eddie Brock supposedly says, I hate this guy. And then they slam to black. And that's supposed to be the big post credit scene that everybody's going crazy about. So remember, you just have to take it with a grain of salt. That could be real. It could be fake. But with all this Tom Hardy walking around in the Spider-Man No Way Home crew cap and he and Andy Serkis confirming their next big movie with Venom is going to be the crossover movie, it certainly makes it sound like this post-credit scene is real. 
And if it is, what that means is they're actually bringing Venom into the MCU to do the Spider-Man Venom crossover instead of Tom Holland's Spider-Man traveling the multiverse and going to the Venomverse for the movie. But you may remember just a little while ago this year, I did a video after Kevin Feige released this huge preview info dump of all the Marvel Phase 4 movies that are coming up in the Disney Plus series. And during that, people asked him about Venom coming into the MCU, and he basically revised his earlier statement, say, oh, you know, that's totally possible now, never say never. As it relates to any characters that Marvel Studios hasn't, hasn't brought to the screen yet, having been in Marvel for 20 years, I wouldn't dismiss anything. I wouldn't rule anything out. When and how and where remains to be seen. Which I think is great that he's open to that kind of thing now. I totally don't mind Venom mixing with the MCU stuff. Is Like Venom isn't then suddenly going to show up in Val's super secret Thunderbolts or Dark Avengers team that she's putting together. Venom won't show up during Captain America 4 or Avengers 5. Like when Venom comes into the MCU, it'll probably only be in the Spider-Man related movies on a case by case basis. Now I know Tom Hardy is wearing the Spider-Man No Way Home ball cap. But even though Maximum Carnage seems like the logical thing for them to do, if Venom really is coming into the MCU for the crossover, if they do Maximum Carnage, that would mean the Carnage also has to come into the MCU. And I'm not totally going to hold my breath on that because it all depends on what happens at the end of Venom Let There Be Carnage. And as of me posting this video, I have not seen the movie yet, so we don't want to speculate too much about how the rest of the movie winds up ending. But honestly, at the end of the day, I think we all knew that they were going to cross these T's. After the Loki series, it seemed much clearer, like, oh, it's just going to be the multiverse. One of them will cross over from one of the different universes, and they'll just say that all the Venom movies are taking place in an alternate universe. It's crossover. Everybody just post all your theories for the title in the comments, too. The actual movie is coming out in a couple weeks. Of course, I'll do a full post credit scene video once it does come out, a full Easter eggs breakdown video, and then talk more about what's going on with the big Spider-Man crossover. We'll get a new Spider-Man No Way Home trailer in the next couple of months, too. Everyone click here to learn all about what's going on with the Sinister Six inside the Spider-Man No Way Home trailer, and click here for my brand new Marvel Eternals trailer video. Thank you so much for watching, everyone stay safe, and I'll see you in the next video.